What's up guys, it's Mike it's Mamo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to the Gothic 2 playthrough The Path of Balear Episode 11 where we're gonna explore and get ourselves the claw of Balear inside Jargonar. So let me first heal up a bit and then uh, the journey begins. Right, so here we go. Obviously, this area will have multiple parts um, due to the fact that, you know, Jarkanar is relatively massive. Nothing to be had there, nothing to plunder. But other than that, this area will not be that difficult anymore. Uh, due to high amount of strength, high amount of dex, as well as high amount of one-handed capabilities. Still need about 15%, and then I can use all one-handed tablets, books, anything. Adonos be thanked. You are finally here. We thought you would not show up again. What? How are you already here? You went through the portal and we followed you. It did not take long before we arrived here. However, you were not there. We have been here for several days. Several days? How can that be? After we could not find you anywhere, Nefarious sought to ascertain what might have gone wrong. He seemed to be thoroughly baffled until now. Well... Now you are here, and can begin your work. Now, I personally believe that in the time that you are absent for several days, apparently, I personally think that in some sort of a way I took a de detour, you know, and either created a new path, basically, you know, um, the inner self, my character, got somehow transported back to the future, but present, um, past, goddammit. Or, it was somewhat necessary in order to get it for several days, I'm not sure. But, I think it has something to do with the three powers within the game. But, I could be wrong, you know, I could be most definitely wrong, but, uh... What else could it have been, you know? What else could have caused my character to take several days to get to this specific point instead of straight ahead? So either he must have gone to alternative dimensions, if you will. And thus, you know, if you look at all three sides of the pass um, that I currently beat it, Adenos, Enos, and then this one, and Belia, that could indicate, you know, that let's say the paladin got switched to the time period of the fire mage or something like that. Could be. Could also be that the inner you, you know, the soul of the nameless hero, the soul of the eternal wanderer, got sent back to time, back to Gothic 1, to repeat its process, you know. But, I'm starting to talk nonsense again, uh, let's continue. What happened in the meantime? We have collected many new insights. The earthquakes do indeed appear to be stronger here. We are not very far from their center now. The builders of these old structures erected a city here in their day. So much we can already say. However, for some reason their culture came to an end. But so far, 
We can only speculate as to why. After these conversations, I will check how many days have actually passed. What about Raven? In his letter, Raven spoke of a temple and that he was trying to get inside. We are unanimously of the opinion that it is a temple of Adonos that Raven seeks to desecrate. The earthquakes are obviously the result of unholy incantations, which keep colliding with a powerful spell. The gates of the temple are magically sealed, and this is the very magic that makes the stone sentinels arise. The temple is defending itself. We must stop Raven before he can penetrate into the Holy of Holies. What does Raven want in the temple? We only know that it has to do with a powerful artifact that is somehow connected to Adonos and Beliar. We can certainly assume that he is not up to anything good. Raven is only a former ore baron, not a magician. How can he carry out an invocation like that? Perhaps it is not he himself, but rather a renegade magician in his pay. One way or another, we must avert the evil. What happens next? We shall remain here and continue studying the ancient culture. The old scripts of the builders conceal a great many secrets which we must reveal, if we want to understand what happened here back then. Meanwhile, you must do a few things for us. What should I do? You must find Raven and prevent him from desecrating the Temple of Adonos. You mean I should kill him? If that is the only way to stop him, then in Adonos' name, yes. On your way, collect all the ancient relics and inscriptions of the builders you can find and bring them to us. We must know more about these people and their demise. Only when we see through Raven's plans can we thwart them. Furthermore, you must find a way to free the slaves. Is that all? I could do that left-handed. I know that it is much to ask. Regard it as a chance to regain my trust. Have you found a trace of the missing people? Only yesterday we found the body of a fisherman. He was lying under one of the ruins to the east. It looks as though the fisherman was from Corinus. You should look into this. I'll get going then. One more thing. Raven has gathered a large number of bandits about him. In your absence, we have fetched another member of the Ring of Water here. We sent him into the swamp. He did not come back. We suspect that the bandits attack everyone who does not look as they do. So, acquire some of the bandits' armor. That is the only way you'll get close to them without being attacked right away. All right, so uh, let's see. Um, how many days have passed? 18, 16, so two days. Nice to see you. We feared the worst. It wasn't all that bad. How's it going? This is a very dangerous region here. Some of the animals in the area have never been seen by anyone before us. Close by, there is a large swamp that managed to grow for several hundred years without anyone noticing. Not a day goes by that we aren't attacked by beasts from the swamp. I advise you to be careful if you go for a stroll here. Is there anything new about the Stone Sentinels? We have already managed to eliminate some of them. They stand there, paralyzed like pillars of salt, and don't budge. But appearances deceive. If you get too close, they'll attack you. There's no doubt that the source of their power can be found here somewhere. Let's deal. Look at that, guys. Staff of power. Strength and mana bonus. Fifty mana extra. Hmm. No, strength and dexterity is really not that needed. So, I will get the staff of arcane. since it will give my character some extra mana.
gonna have to fry my meat, so uh, that, that's gonna take a bit of time. So bear me, bear with me, my friends, bear with me. I have to fry some meat. Exactly 50-50. Hey, you! Any new findings? The builders of these ruins fascinate me. It is just too bad that their language is as dead as they are. Even their mighty rituals and summonings could not save them. Summonings? The builders had a strong connection to the spirit world. If I have understood correctly, they believe they were in constant contact with their ancestors. They held regular summonings and rituals to ask the spirits for advice or to gain enlightenment. The undead that I know never had much to say. The builders did not create soulless undead such as zombies or other evil creatures. These spirits were the souls of great warriors, priests and rulers. So far, I have no doubt that they really exist. How did these spirit summonings work? The Guardians of the Dead had their special formulas they used to pacify the spirits. The descriptions I could find here, however, are in part very confusing. Only rarely do I get a clear answer to my questions. If I see a spirit, I'll let you know. <laughs> yes, I insist on it. Wait a minute. Did you expect this here? Not at all. I'm awestruck at how large the city must have been. Most of the buildings were buried under stone and earth. But the ruins that have survived the ages are spread all over the land. There must have been thousands living here. What will I find out there? In the east, there's a large fortress in a gigantic swamp. As far as we can judge from here, the bandits have taken refuge there. If I were you, I wouldn't go down there. They've set up many outposts and guards. You'd better avoid the swamp until you have more experience, or find a way to go around the bandits. In the west, we have discovered some pirates. I'm not sure, but I believe they have also discovered us. They don't seem too perturbed by our presence, though. Tell me more about the area. What do you want to know? What is in the north? If the records of the builders are believed, then you'll find a large valley encircled by cliffs. Drought and desert sand dominate the landscape there. What will I find if I go to the south? The land in the south is very rugged. You'll find serpentine paths, waterfalls, 
and runes carved out of the rock there. What was in the east again? The Great Swamp. The area is very dangerous. Not only are the bandits lurking there, but also extremely dangerous animals. You should be careful. Were you ever in the west? No, but the coast must be there somewhere. That's probably where the pirates have their camp. To the east, not far from here, we found the body of a fisherman. You should take a look at it. Is there a map of this area? Kronos has made one. He will surely let you have it. Don't really need it. Can you teach me your skills? I can instruct you in the art of alchemy, and I can show you how to teach your will of the wisp to search for objects. Teach me the art of brewing potions. And what do you want to brew? Teach me the art of brewing potions. And what do you want to brew? The elixir of spirit. Good, good. Only need the learning points now. How's it going? Listen, curious, don't you think? Mm. These teleporter stones don't appear to function, and yet you can hear them hum. Although they aren't active, a certain energy rests in them nevertheless. What do you think needs to be done to activate them? I have an idea about that. I just need proof for my suspicion. I had a feeling days ago that I had seen this sort of construction somewhere before. I suspect that we have to supply them with a damn large amount of magical energy to get them back into service. What could provide enough magical energy? I can only think of one thing. A magical focus. I mean, one of the five focus stones that were used to create the magical barrier in the Valley of the Mines. As far as I know, you had to get them back for us a while ago. Yes, I can remember. Where are the focus stones now? They were entrusted to me. I am supposed to keep them safe until we find another use for them. The way it looks, the time is ripe now. You said you need proof for your suspicion. A magical focus should be connected to these stones, but I don't know where. Where have you seen these teleporter stones before? You were in the penal colony too, didn't you ever notice those stones? I am quite sure that they still can be found there today. How do these teleporter stones get their power? The Builders were a very highly developed people. They use properties of magic that we have never seen. A network of teleporter stones was built so the Builders could move quickly from one place in the city to another. The stones here obviously form a kind of center. I've heard enough. Give me a focus stone. I will try to get the teleporters to work. All right, but be careful with it, you hear? Satyrus will have my head if we lose them. Can you teach me your magic skills? I can show you how to increase your magic power. Hey! I'm tremendously relieved to see that you have arrived here unscathed. How is it that you arrived here before me? We traveled through a curious dimension. Who knows what detours you took. And now, can I use the portal again? We came here directly. It obviously works quite well. Of course, I'll let you know if I have the suspicion that it could be otherwise. What have you done here up to now? I'm studying the history of the Builders, and I'm trying to understand why they closed the portal. It looks very much as though they wanted to hide the sunken city from the rest of the world. Terrible things happened here many years ago. They were seized by something awful. There was a dreadful civil war shortly before the downfall of the city, if their records can be believed. The streets were in flames, and a flood which devoured everything ultimately sealed the fate of the Builders. 
The few who survive the inferno close this part of the island in the hope of locking up the chaos. Did you say that there was a flood? Adonos himself appeared to them to end the madness. He raised the city to the ground. What made the builders so agitated? One of their own devoted himself to evil. He was a great commander named Quahodron. Returning from a successful battle outside the protecting walls of the city, he brought the evil with him. All of his followers fell to the madness a short time later and began to battle with the common folk. The civil war that followed reduced everything to rubble. And we fools have reopened the portal. I'm not happy about that either, believe you me. But what choice did we have? If we cannot stop what is happening here, then Corinus will suffer exactly the same fate that once befell the builders of this ancient city. What do you think we will find here? I can only speculate about that. You should talk to Satyrus. He has a certain idea. Can you impart your knowledge of magic to me? I can instruct you in the creation of runes, and Cronus can sell you the formulas for them. He always has his rune books with him. Okay, interesting. The trip through this portal is safe? I haven't had any reservations so far. Maybe I was wrong and you can also join the water mages as a fire mage. But we'll see, we'll see. Three mana is always good, especially as a mage. Now let me quickly check something. gonna check if I can you know help Greg to get back to the uh, to his island by telling him that we the water mages and me fa found a portal to go back to his area who knows never tried that before hey you one more thing. I am grateful that you helped me, but that doesn't make us friends if you get my drift. I guess that's a no. Back to Jock and R we go.
sorry about the inconvenience guys but uh, I just wanted to make doubly sure that uh, it won't give any XP when it comes to Greg and it surely doesn't wait a minute I've activated one of the teleporter stones I can see that so I was right I have talked to the others about it we want you to try to activate all the teleporter stones it would be a great help in our investigations if we could move quickly from one part of the city to another. Here is another focus stone. Activate them all if you can. I'll try. All right, let's go to the pirates. Who on earth are you? You don't look like the others. What others? Well, the mages who are hanging around these runes over there. Are you one of that bunch then? Brave thing to run around here by yourself. Who are you? I'm sure you've heard of me before. I'm Alligator Jack, feared all over the country. I'm one of the most dangerous pirates around here. Together with Captain Greg, I've boarded more merchant vessels than I can count. You're looking at a living legend here. Do you know a fellow named Raven? Of course. He's the leader of the bandits to the east. What's your business with him? I've got to kill him. <laughs> what? You? How are you going to do that? Isn't that guy way out of your league? You won't even get close to him. The bandits he surrounded himself with will skin you alive first. You won't even get past their first outpost. The way you look, those bandits will get itchy fingers when they spot you a mile away. I've got a better idea. Come and join us. That'll give you time to think about it. Once you've tried our good home-brewed rum, things will look very different. I need a bandit's armor. What would you do with that? It'll only get you into trouble if you're seen with it. Everyone's going to take you for a bandit, and they will try to kill you. Sounds good. Yes, but only to someone who's suicidal. Do you have any idea where I could find armor like that? We used to have one in our pirate camp. But I don't know whether it's still there. Your captain's name is Greg? Right. He's the greatest pirate the sea ever spawned. I think I know your captain. I met him in Corinus. <laughs> Greg? In Corinus? Nonsense. Greg is out at sea after booty with some of the lads. The only thing that could bring Greg to Corinus would be one of the king's prison galleys. He's one of the most wanted men in the land. He'd never march into town voluntarily and have the royal guard throw him into prison. If you say so. Where's your pirate camp? See the cave passage over there. Go through it and continue west and you'll come to our beach sooner or later. That's where our log huts are. I can take you there if you want, if you do me a favor first. And what would that be? I'll have to get the boys some meat before I can go back to camp. You're a strong fellow. I could use your help hunting. Interested? What is it you hunt? Only alligators, usually. But they're no good for eating. And there aren't any left around here anyway. So I take what I can find. Swamp rats. What? Most beasts around here taste like old socks, or they're as tough as alligator meat. Those fat swamp rats are the only thing that is remotely edible. Tell me more about you pirates. We've been living here for years. Back before the war, everyone knew us from here to the mainland. Our flag alone would spread terror among the crews of merchant vessels. But those times are past now. It's been weeks since we've run into a merchant vessel. 
our Captain Greg left to try and catch another. The rest of us are sitting here in camp, twiddling our thumbs until he comes back. I hope he'll bring back lots of booty. Booty is always nice. Let's go hunting. All right. With two people, that's child's play. Are you ready? As, one, as ready as one can be. Yes. Great. Just stay right behind me. Nether beneath murky mushrooms on the floor. One less monster around. One less monster around. The hollow. There should be some of those beasts around here. Follow me. I, 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 alligator. Last monster. I was afraid of that. What? This handful of beasts here is only about half of what I need. Now we'll have to enter the canyon. Watch out. It's very dangerous deeper down in the canyon. If you hold your life dear, stay very close to me. What is there in the canyon? We avoid that area if it's at all possible. That's where you'll find razors. Tough beasts, those. Stay away from them if you want to live another day. Fine, let's go. All right. We're nearly at the pirate camp, guys. Come on. You're not from around here, are you? You seem to have traveled far. Busy? Don't even ask. Henry wants me to chop down all the trees here. Henry? He's the leader of our troop. He stands around at the camp entrance all the time, talking big. More dedicated service to the community and all that crap. But he doesn't lift a finger himself. Where's your camp? Just continue down this path here, to the west. You'll see Henry standing there soon enough. Henry is your leader? 
Yes, the leader of our raiding troop. Our captain is Greg, but he's not here at the moment. I need to move on. Hey, when you get to our camp, give Henry a message from me. The trees around here are damn stubborn. He'll have to wait for his wood a while longer. Tell him that. We'll do, Malcolm. We'll do. You're a talented hunter. My goodness. If you continue like that, I'll be able to stay in camp next time. Here, take this swamp rat meat to lazy old Morgan. You'll find him in our camp. He's probably lounging on the beach somewhere. He'll be waiting for this. Henry usually guards the entrance to the camp and keeps a lookout for bandits. If he refuses to let you in, just tell him that I sent you. Maybe that'll make him a bit more sociable. Henry is a little too eager and a bit bossy, too. Can you teach me something? Sure. I'm a good hunter, and I can show you how to skin animals and pull their teeth. I'll teach you if you like. Teach me. What is it you want to learn? There is nothing else I can teach you. You have become too good. Always make the cut at the belly, or the quality will suffer. If you're looking for me, you'll usually find me near my camp in front of the Palisade. Palisades? Just continue west from here and you'll see what I mean. I... Let me first activate the second teleporter. Nothing there. Too bad that they removed the, uh, you know, belly art effect in uh, Gothic 3. But <laughs> then again, you know, since this character is now going to suck it up basically and just deal with it instead of keeping curing it, you know, it could and it would make sense that you would be able to resist it, you know, and thus notice no difference in Gothic 3. But, still a shame though. Hey! I've activated another one of the teleporter stones. Give me the next focus. Of course. Here it is. Was it difficult? Depends on how you look at it. I could use a bit of support. I could give you some gold, would that help? It couldn't hurt. Let's see. Here are a few gold coins. Oh, by the way, before I forget, Saturas would like to talk to you. You should see him as soon as possible. 
I'll talk to him immediately. It has to do with the mentions. Let's deal. Oh, would you look at that? Four rune stones. All right. Um, I'm gonna just purchase all these books. You know, because I can. I bought this one with uh, Adenos. Enos didn't need it, so I'll purchase this one with Fire Mage. Let me sell quickly, and then uh, we're gonna continue. Now, really, don't need the bow nor the crossbow anymore. Give me a bit, and then uh, we will continue. Selling things is always annoying. I also need to check the books real fast to do, calculate how many room blanks I actually need. I think I needed all of them. But I'm not entirely sure. Now the first two circles I don't have to check anymore. Uh, third circle... I had all third circle I think. Create skeleton fear found ball lightning. Alright, so those are done as well. Four circle. Lightning is too bad that, you know, as a uh, servant of Enos, paladin in my playthrough, I couldn't get destroy the undead, but uh, it is Enos, in my opinion at any rate, because, you know, it wouldn't make sense if the servant of Balea could summon the undead and destroy them, you know, it wouldn't make sense. Um, so, lightning, that's one room blank. Summon demon is two. Breath, death, three, wave of death, four, five. I need five empty room blanks in total. I've got four, so I need one more. Let's deal. Um, all right, back to the, oh wait, 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 Saturus. It is good you came. We have new discoveries that we must share with you. Then let's hear it. The sunken city once bore the name of Jarkandar. There were five rulers in the city who shared the power over their people. Each of these rulers had a mansion where he lived and kept his belongings. Therefore, in your search for the relics of the ancient culture, it is crucial that you should search through these mansions. Where should I look for these mansions? Riordan has studied the structure of the buildings in Jarkandar. He will tell you where you should look for the mansions. What if these mansions no longer exist? If you cannot find the houses, then they presumably sank with the city. However, should they still exist, they would be of inestimable value for our studies. What poor swine did you send into the swamp? His name was Lance. I am afraid he did not get very far. Nefarious told me about a flood. It is written that Adonos himself descended from heaven to punish the unbelievers and banish them to the realm of the dead. Aroused by his holy wrath, he let the sea fall upon the builders of this city and swept them away. The swamp to the east still bears witness to these events of the past. What could have made Adonis so angry? The temple of this city was once a great, glorious structure. 
everyone honored it and prayed to our god Adonos. Rademus, the son of the commander Quahodron, desecrated the temple. As a result, one after another fell victim to evil. I suspect that Adonos would not forgive this, and his revenge fell upon the land. This makes it even more important that we stop Raven. He is about to do exactly the same thing. About the relics, I think I have something here for you. We already know this sort of stone tablet. They'll not get us any further now. There must be more than that. I'll see whether I can find anything. Good, but hurry. Time is not our ally. Time is never our ally, really. Can you teach me the circles of magic? You are a magician of fire. What would Pyrocar say about that? No one needs to know. I see that you are serious, so I shall comply with your request. However, should I get the impression that our knowledge is in the wrong hands, you will no longer be able to count on my help. So you had better not disappoint me. Interesting. Huh? I want to learn a higher level of magic. It is still too soon for you. Come back later. <laughs> Doesn't work, though. May Adonos protect you. But interesting. I didn't know that one. Or oh, I did know, but totally forgot it. You know, possible. <laughs> Happens more often than not. go to Henry and the bandage camp, oh, bandage camp, pirate camp. Let me quickly take care of the their minor bandit problem. bit here to loot the area and then uh, we will be on our way to the bandit why do I keep saying bandits the pirates same principle you know they both wanted but
gotta hate the bugginess of this game sometimes. Nothing to plunder. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Halt, friend or foe? Foe. Asking for a good spanking, you clown. Tell me what you want here, or beat it and fast. I want in there. Really? That'll cost you, though. 500 gold pieces. Huh? For what? Don't make such a fuss. There's plenty of stuff here in camp that might interest you. And you look like someone who's got gold on him. So a small contribution is not gonna kill you? Or did you steal those posh rags of yours? Can't we come to an agreement somehow? Well, give me a good reason and I might make it cheaper for you. I'm supposed to bring Morgan this meat. Aha, and who sent you? Alligator Jack. He says that Morgan is already waiting for it. I see. Not in the mood himself, is he? Malcolm sent me. He says the wood may take a while. Oh, great. I might have known. It's taken forever again. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I must see to it that these miserable wretches gets the palisade built in time. If they don't... Captain Greg will kick my ass all over the place. Also, I keep strangers from traipsing in here just like that. Greg's your boss? He sure is, and it's Captain Greg to you. Have I made myself clear? He's a great man. If you meet him, be careful not to get on the wrong side of him. You won't live long enough to regret it. He's not in the camp right now, though. Francis is in command for now. He sits in front of Greg's hut all day and goggles at us working. What are you building the palisade for? Well, we don't want to make it too easy for the bandits. Those bastards are getting more brazen all the time. They've been sneaking around our camp for days now, just like sharks after a shipwreck. Some of those good-for-nothings are holding up in the tower a little south of here. But that's only an advance party, I'm sure. If they're really stupid enough to mount an attack, we'll give them a welcome they won't forget. About those bandits in the tower. Yes? 
their history. Did you pull that off all by yourself? Respect! Maybe you'll even be a real pirate someday. Why would the bandits attack you? Because there's war between them and us. What did you think? Everything was peachy at first. We brought them here, they marched right into their swamp and left us alone. But now, those bastards attack anyone who's not one of them. Heaven knows what's gotten into them. I reckon they may be after our boats. There's no other way to get out of here after all. You should ask Skip about this. He's been with them and barely got away with his life. He's got quite an interesting tale to tell. Too bad you can't hear it, though. <laughs> you haven't paid your toll after all. Let me in. Hmm. You brought me a message from our woodcutters. You want to play errand boy for Alligator Jack and bring the swamp rat meat to Morgan. And best of all, you got that vomit in the tower off our backs. I never thought you could do it all by yourself. A hundred gold pieces, or you just get lost. It's as simple as that. Good. Here's your gold. Thanks. Welcome to our camp. If you were planning to sign on with us, lad, you're out of luck. Only the captain decides who gets to sign on in here, and he took half the crew and went to sea after booty. But you can stay until he's back, provided you don't cause any trouble here. I will give you a problem. He would have never thought of that himself. How are things? France is the camp things leader is nothing but a clown. How can us. anyone take him seriously? You listen to the wrong people. There was no big deal. What have we here? A fresh face, and I not heard. one of those filthy bandits, I hope. I'm Garrett. If there's <laughs> anything you need, you. ask me first. I can Doesn't get you almost anything. Sword. Wine, weapons, and other stuff you, you might need. Tell me that. Except for booze. If it's a decent drink you want, he, he really go see that. Samuel. Who's Samuel? <laughs> He's our moonshiner. He's got his cave on the That's beach, a little gossip. distance from the camp. You can't miss it. Just walk north. You'll be well advised to keep yourself supplied with grog. Of Some of the boys here aren't very fond of greenhorns at all, if you get my drift. A decent swig of grog can work wonders for you. Where do you get your supplies? Skip always brings loads of stuff from Corinus when he visits there. Until recently, he used to sell some of it directly to the bandits. But since we've been at war with the bandits, I'm the one who ends up with all the stuff now. What do you know about the bandits? You'd better ask Skip about that. He's been through quite a lot with that bunch. Let me tell you, Greg has given orders to do away with any bandit who shows up near the camp. You're Captain Greg. What's he like? He's a tough old bastard and no doubt about it. And greedy to the bone. He makes Francis, our treasurer, pay out not a penny more than what it takes to prevent a mutiny. And if one of us ever gets his hands on something really valuable, he'll inevitably take it for himself. I once took a compass from a royal frigate. That bastard Greg made me hand it over, of course. Bah. He probably buried it somewhere, just like the rest of his treasures. Where might Greg have buried that compass? Greg once told me that death himself watches over my compass. Then he laughed. Anything else? There's a beach at the southern coast. It can only be reached by sea. Greg is said to have been there often. Maybe you'll find something there. I once went there to see what I might find myself, but the area is teeming with monsters. If you really want to give it a try, don't forget to bring a pick. What can you tell me about Francis? Greg put him in command while he's gone. But uh, Francis is a total failure as a leader. He can't even get he, Morgan he to sick. stir his lazy ass out of bed. Henry and his boys are the only we'll ones forget. doing anything around here. The others I are just enjoying themselves instead of working. I can only hope that Greg uh, will come I'll back soon. He'll give them all a good swift kick in the ass. I'm not telling you anything new. Anything new? 
Nothing ever happens anymore since Greg left. That's all just gossip. And Let's deal. Me. He would have never thought of that himself. Uh, he really should have known need Black Pearl for uh, just breath, gossip. death, and army of darkness. Away from uh, death, he really you don't want to build your name Nobody will learn anything from me. Thanks. You can't rely on that. Alright, so let's quickly That's get the uh, compass. compass. You can't rely on that. Don't How's it going? Yeah, I can't complain, it's a bit boring, but at least I don't have to work. I'm preparing for the next task that Greg's given me. What task? No I mustn't sense. say. No offense, kid, but I've worked hard for the privilege and I don't want to lose it again. Nothing amazes me anymore. Can you teach me something? I'm sorry, I've got no time right now. I've got some training to do. Nobody will learn anything from Who around here can teach me something? Henry and Morgan are leading our raiding troops. They could teach you how to be a better fighter. Henry's people all use two-handed weapons. Morgan prefers the faster one-handed weapons. Who else? Beats me, I've never been interested in anything else. But I'm sure that Alligator Jack or Samuel could still show you a trick or two. Alright. And now the tricky part.
nothing to plunder. found something. In that cave over there you can find a uh, Shrine of Belial, but since it's morning I can't really use it, besides I really don't need gold. idea you tell me that's all just gossip. here's your compass yes that's it I oh, never thought I'd see it again that. thanks man this really time Greg like won't that. get a hold of it again here take this <laughs> belt in return it's my most valuable piece it's a bad business I couldn't care less that's not what I heard Hey, looky there, a newbie. And a landlubber at that? You're a bit scrawny for a pirate. Can you teach me something? Teach you? You bet. I could teach you to become stronger and improve your dexterity. But why would I want to do that? Because I'll buy you a drink. Not bad, kiddo. Got it. First try. But don't even bother to bring me some cheap rot gut. 
I'll get you some grog. Are you trying to poison me? I'm not touching that mock. Do you have any idea what's in there? Old Samuel has some good stuff as well. Go get me some of that. Have you ever tried Samuel's special recipe? No, not yet. Then have a go at it. It's a must try. Oh, I love this concoction. Anything new? Wait a moment. <laughs> Not as far as I can see. Same old, same old. New here, are you? Great. We can use every man. How are things? Right now. All's quiet in the camp, so I'm going to relax a little. And if I were you, I'd do the same. Since the bandits are here now, the situation may change faster than we like. How are things? Right now. And if I were you, sit. How? Sit. What do you know about the bandits? You mean besides the fact that they're a deadly menace and outnumber us by far? Yes. They're rolling in gold. Well, at least they were rolling in gold. They never paid for their last shipment. But I doubt that it's because those bastards ran out of gold. Huh. <laughs> it's more likely that they've gotten way too big for their boots. Hey, you! Fire this heat by the fire makes me bloodthirsty. Say, have you got some grog for me? Get away with that. Here, take a sip. Thanks, man. What's up? I have to take care of this gluttonous crew here. And that's why I'm standing here day and night, slaving over a hot frying pan. I'd much rather be combing the beach and the shallows for washed up flotsam. Last week, a fat merchant vessel hit a reef right off the coast. And all that good stuff is washing up if on the beach now. That, I, I really hope someone's going to take over my duty yeah, soon. He really said that. That's all just gossip. What have we here? Crossing the path of old Skip again? I know you. That's not what I The heard. bay near the city, remember? I'm not Skip, telling you anything right? new. I see I made a lasting impression. That's all just gossip. But I've seen your mug elsewhere in the meantime. But of course! Will it ever change? Oh well, not a great likeness, but it's certainly it you. Change. Don't let it get to you. My own wanted poster looks just as daft. What are you doing here? Myself. I've just come back from Corinus, and now I'm waiting for Greg really to return. That? I saw Greg and Corinus. Really? Not really? My problem. Damn. Something must have gone wrong then. He should have been here with our ship some time ago. I suppose anymore. I should go back to Corinus and wait for him there. Ah, uh, but certainly not today. I only just yeah, arrived he here. Really said that. What can you tell me about the bandits? The bandits? They are attacking us! Why do you think we're building this palisade? We brought those scumbags over here ourselves. We used to trade with them. Boy, let me tell you, they've got more gold than they'll ever know what to do with. They were prepared to pay any price for a bottle of rum. But those times are past. It's war now. What happened? Those bastards hadn't paid for their last shipment. So I went there to see what had become of our gold. But when I got to the swamp, the swine attacked me. And that's not all. They killed oh, Angus and Hank, so two of our me. best people. If Just stay away from that swamp, I, I tell help. you. They'll go after anyone that who doesn't look as shabby so as they do. Do you really believe that? Have you ever met Raven? Certainly. When I was with Henry up at the gate, I watched Raven place some of his boys All at the tower to the south. Just a stone's throw from our camp. Yeah, really <laughs> I guess they're supposed to spy on us. I've also seen how he treats his people when they don't do his bidding. He'll make short shrift of anyone who doesn't obey his orders to the letter. Mark my words, stay well away from Raven. didn't know that. 
Tell me more about Angus and Hank. Angus and Hank were supposed to meet with some bandits in front of the camp. They were carrying all kinds of supplies. Everything those bastards had ordered from us. Forged steel and lockpicks and whatnot. But they never came back. The bandit swine must have done away with them. Morgan and Bill went out to look for them without any success. Bill was pretty devastated. They were both friends of his. He's still young. These things really get to him. The rest of us took it in our stride. The goods we can afford to lose. But the grog they were carrying. We're talking at least 20 bottles. He listened to the wrong people. I need Bandit's armor. You want to go in there? Are you insane? Once those guys find out, you're not one of them. You're sausage meat. Do you have any idea where I could find armor like that? Yeah. Ah, you don't give up easily, do you? All right. He really we that. used to have a suit. Greg's probably I still got it somewhere, here. up in his hut. Maybe you can buy it from him when he gets back. Can you tell me how to get into his hut? Whoa there. Not so fast. You weren't thinking of ransacking Greg's stuff, were you? When he left, he gave the key to Francis and told him not to let anyone into his hut. What can you tell me about Francis? Francis is our treasurer. The captain trusts him. That's all just. That's probably why he left him in command. But none of the boys here really take him seriously. If you want to know more, talk to Samuel. He's got his still in the little cave north of here. There isn't a soul in this camp Samuel doesn't know all kinds of things about. That's really not my problem. Can you take me to Corinnus? Nothing no way. Anymore. I'm not leaving now. I'll find myself a decent That's swig of grog first. Pirates and uh, grog. That's really not my problem. Have All you got I anything to sell? So if you want to trade, go to Garrett. He's in charge of our supplies. Don't tell me you didn't know that. How many bottles of grog do I have? You listen to the wrong people. Nothing amazes me anymore. All that matters is strength, so don't tell me that. That's all just gossip. <laughs> Seven, I agree with I you me Do you really believe that? Now I can pickpocket this key, myself. which I will do, but uh, I will do so later because uh, I will pay him the gold that he wants, which is about 2,000 in order to get into the hut. I must get into Greg's hut. Forget it. Greg's not there. And I've locked the door. And now I see to it that nobody sneaks around here to do a little looting. So make yourself scarce. Or I'll let you have it. Greg is your boss? Now don't try and tell me that you know him. Any sailor, even any cursed landlubber on this island, knows the terrible Captain Greg, and he left me in command. I'm responsible for making those lazy bums do what he commanded. Some of the boys may think they can do whatever they damn well want now that the captain's not here. Won't they be surprised when Greg comes back? I'll tell them everything that's been going on here. Got it? Including who's been trying to get into his hut. So make yourself scarce, or you'll be in a load of trouble. Give me the key to Greg's hut. You must be joking. Nobody will learn anything from me. I'll give you one thousand gold pieces. That's not quite enough to make me betray my captain. I'm afraid. Be careful what you say. Or I'll have your hide. You hardly know who to believe these days. I'll give you two thousand gold pieces. Boy, I can't help him. what you're asking for is mutiny. Nothing but on second thought... Oh well. He even give it here. Hold a sword. No one needs to know. Here's the key. But hurry up before Greg comes back. And not a word to the others, understood? Now won't you be surprised? Well, I will get here. Yeah, uh, really 
loot the area later. We first talk with How are things away. going with you? What's up? Did Henry send you here? Tell him to get his planks as soon as I'm done. If he can't wait that long, he's welcome to saw them himself. What are all these planks for? We use them for the palisade, you dimwit. Greg thought it would be a good idea to secure our camp this way. We can save ourselves the work if you ask me. If the bandits are really planning to attack us, this ridiculous palisade isn't going to stop them. We should have never tolerated them in our valley in the first place. If I'd known all this in advance, I'd have stayed in Karunas. Can I help you saw? Nah, I can handle this by myself. I joined up here not long ago, and letting others do my work won't get me anywhere if you get my drift. I'm looking for Angus and Hank. <sighs> I have no idea where they are. The bandits must have got them. You were friends with them, weren't you? All I know is that they were going to meet up with the bandits in a cave not far from here. It must be somewhere outside our camp, to the east. I don't know where exactly. I've never been there myself. Maybe you should ask Alligator Jack about this. He's always roaming around outside the camp. You've been to Carinas? Yes. I kept myself afloat there, picking pockets and doing a little swindle or two. But whenever fewer ships came in, business got worse and worse. At some point, I got tired of being on the run from the militia for a few crusts of bread. That's when I joined Greg. Now I'm stuck here, sawing all day to build a palisade that's of no use to anyone. Can you teach me something? Well, I could show you how to pick other people's pockets unnoticed, but you should be fairly dexterous or you can just forget it. All right, let me uh, talk with Morgan, Samuel, clear the beach, and, and uh, we're pretty much done here. Also, I have to really go uh, to the toilet. So uh, just give me a bit, guys. I'm gonna go to the toilet, be right back. I'm here to deliver some meat. Ah, I need a, a sip to wake me up. That's better. So again, uh, what do you want? I'm here to deliver some meat. From Alligator Jack? I remember. Right. The meat. Give it here. What are you doing here? Greg made me commander of one of the two raiding troops. I'm responsible for keeping the camp supplied. Alligator Jack sees to that. I'm also responsible for keeping those beasts you find out here well away from the camp. That's what the boys do. I told him I don't want to see a single beast left around here when Greg comes back. Do you ever do anything yourself? Hey, none of that lip. Mine is the most important task of all. I train my people. I make them into the best and most fearless fighters who ever sailed these waters. And it's not like the lads do all that work for nothing. They get a good sized bag of gold for their efforts. What do you think of Francis? I don't mind him, as long as he leaves me alone. Isn't he the boss around here? <laughs> he thinks he's the boss. But at some point, Greg will return, and then Francis gets to go back to Sarin Plax. <laughs> About Angus and Hank. Oh, don't remind me of them. They probably got themselves killed by bandits, and Angus had my ring on him. Well, Shaw, sure, it was his ring, in a way. He won it from me playing dice. But I would have gotten it back, and now it's gone. If you find my ring, bring it back to me. I'd certainly make it up to you. 
Can you train me as well? Sure, I can show you how to fight with one-handed weapons. Teach me. I can't teach you anymore. You're too good. I know. If you want to get even better, you'll have to learn from somebody else. I want to join your troop. <laughs> My troop? My troop is hanging out at the beach. Those boys won't lift a finger until the captain is back. You can count on that. But if you want to show everybody what you're made of, feel free to work on the northern beach. It's full of lurkers and who knows what else. Take them on by yourself and you'll earn the respect of the people. Welcome to my troop. <laughs> I'll go lie back down. Right, so let's quickly talk with Samuel. Hey, you! Ah, uh, a new face. What do you want, rum or something stronger? I want to talk to you about Francis. Just don't mention that wannabe captain. He sits on his fat ass all day acting important. We'd all like to know what the hell the captain was thinking when he put him in command here. What do you want from that prig? I must get into Greg's hut. Really? To do what? I need a bandit's armor. Ha <laughs> ha! Francis will never agree to let you go into the hut so that you can nab a few of Greg's things. Unless... Yes? You've got something he really wants. I know that Francis has hidden something in an abandoned mine in the canyon. Once, when we were on guard duty together and he dozed off as always, he went on about it in his sleep. I've no clue what he buried there, but maybe it's so important to him that he'll let you into the hut to get it back. <laughs> when the captain comes back and finds some of his things are missing, He'll have Francis's hide for it. I want something stronger. Ah, a seeker. I'm always after new recipes myself. Decent booze should be clear and strong and burn your throat like liquid fire. You don't find that very often. But I'm talking too much. You want a drink? Here, my own recipe. How do you like that? I call it hasty herring. Ooh, impressive. <laughs> you can say that again. You wouldn't happen to know a good recipe for booze yourself. If you do, you must tell me. Want another? Give me some of your hasty herring. Rather vile muck, but effective. What else have you got? I could get you anything a pirate needs in order to survive. Hmm. What's new in the camp? Nothing much has been happening here since Greg left. Morgan and most of his boys been just hanging around and boozing all day. The only one who does anything at all is Henry. He and his boys are building the palisade. It's high time for Captain Greg to come back and give that Francis a good swift kick in the ass.
The northern beach is all cleared. What about the cave? Have you been there too? Sure thing. Ah, great. You're a good man. Here's your reward. Go lie back down. Ah, great idea. About that grog. Here's your 20 bottles. What? Really? Just like that? Well... Okay, I'll pay for them. Haven't you got anything more interesting than gold? Hmm. Let's see. I've got this ring here. I won it gambling in a filthy dockside tavern years ago. Back then, the guy told me it was magic. No idea whether that's true or not. Maybe you want that instead of money. All right, give me the gold. Give me the money. All right. He simply needs to practice more. Here you go. Ah, down the hatch like liquid fire. Things would have turned out differently if it hadn't been for us. All right, let's loot Greg's hood. Sorry for not uh, doing commentary for a bit, but uh, someone was listening relatively loudly some music, and uh, that is instantly copyright on my videos, and I want to prevent that, you know. So uh, I decided not to talk during the period. Hey, you. What are you doing in my hut? I... Uh... I've just been gone for a couple of days and everyone thinks they can do what they damn well please. What the hell is going on here? The palisade still isn't finished? The canyon is overrun with beasts and everybody is just hanging around enjoying themselves. So this is all you've accomplished, Francis? Get off my bench at once. And you? What have you done? I've been working. Have you? And what? I've done away with the bandits in the tower. There are no more beasts on the beach to the north. Well, it's a beginning, I guess. I'll teach you the true meaning of work. What is there to do? First of all, we'll make things hum around here. Morgan, that lazy pig, gets to saw planks. You will take over Morgan's job and clear those beasts out of the damn canyon. What beasts? The razors in the canyon are coming closer and closer to our camp. I won't wait until I've eaten one of my men who's had a few too many. I guess I'll get going then. One more thing. You're one of us now. So get yourself a decent hunting outfit first. Here's some of our armor for you. I hope it fits. And don't dawdle. Get right to it. I need that bandit's armor. Prove yourself useful first, then we can talk. First, kill all the razors in the canyon. So how did you get here? You weren't expecting me, huh? 
Just so we set this straight, I'm Greg and this here is my camp. That enough for you? Hey! Don't even think about asking me to join your raiding troop. What do you think the other boys will do once I'm gone, huh? When I come back, there won't be one full crate left in my hut. I'll just stay here and guard our supplies. Lazy buns. You're supposed to help me. Orders from Greg. Good. Come with me. Good. How are things? Sin. Come with me. I can't leave now. I'm just trying to relax. Orders from Greg. Ah, I see. That's a different, of course. Uh, I mean, of course I'm coming. Where are we going? We're supposed to clear the canyon. You're out of your mind. It's teeming with beasts. And those razors are not to be trifled with. I know. Are you coming now? <sighs> you better pack a few healing potions. We're gonna need them. Great. <laughs> now Greg is making me saw planks. Have fun slaughtering monsters. <laughs> Is there anything else for me to do? You'd better go ask the captain. Hey! What are you doing now? I'm taking a break. Francis got my old job. Let him saw planks until his arms fall off. You're supposed to help me. Orders from Greg. You've got it. The canyon awaits. Aye, aye, Captain. You're supposed to help me. That's news to me. Says who? Says Greg. We're off to hunt razors in the canyon. Finally, something's happening around here. Then let's go right away. The sooner we do in those beasts, the sooner we get to be back here. Come with me. I'm right here. Everything ship shape? No. Amarin's just not my thing. The canyon awaits. I'm sorry, I've got no time right now. I've got some training to do. Hey, you! The captain gave you your own raiding troop, did he? Then see to it that your boys get plenty to do. Hey. Do you know Angus and his friend Hank? I haven't seen them in a while, and I wouldn't mind if the pair of them never came back. Why? Oh, those bums always hung around the lake, scaring off the game. What lake would that be? Remember our hunt? Yep. The lake in the hollow. That's where I usually saw them. Let's go hunting. 
All right, then. you deal with those things nothing there So much for you, filthy beast. Nothing there. Let's take care of Lost too, and then uh, we're done. So much for you, filthy beast. No longer need you. All right, no problem. Maybe we can have a drink together sometime. I no longer need you. Oh, I need a decent swig of grog. I no longer need you. All right, then. 
I no longer need you. I'm back in camp, Captain. I no longer need you. Good. Anyways, before people start booming the music again. <laughs> You, said, you know, we're not there any done just yet, but uh, uh, I'll just get it over with so it should, you know, neighbor can listen to music, which is fine, you know, understandable. We all enjoy music, but uh, it could get me in trouble with YouTube, you know, due to copyright nonsense. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up, and uh, if you did enjoy and you do subscribe to my channel make sure to hit the notification bell and uh, you'll be notified whenever I upload video content but uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time we're not quite done yet but you know just as a uh, precaution if you will about that canyon yeah what about it I killed all the razors. Good. You seem to be a useful fellow. I need that bandit's armor. Hey, you're quite something. Bones was supposed to wear that armor and spy on the bandits. But maybe you're the better man for the job. Perhaps you even stand a chance of coming out of there alive. Talk to Bones and let him give you the armor. Then put it on and go to the bandits' camp. I need to know why those scumbags came to our valley in the first place. Aye, aye, Captain. There's one more thing I'd like to know. And that is? What do you know about Raven? He used to be an ore baron, far as I know, quite a big shot in the colony. I haven't a clue why he's here now and why people are following him, but he's certainly up to something. He's not the kind who would hide out in a swamp. Where's your ship? This is just my luck. For months, no ships have sailed between here and the mainland. For months! And the first ship I run into happens to be a fully manned warship belonging to the King. Full of paladins, from her keel to the top of her mast. That's what I call bad luck. You can say that again. They sank us right away. I'm the only one who made it to the shore. How did you get here? I found a tunnel near the old pyramid, guarded by a few mages. I simply sneaked past those blind worms. First, I took it for an ancient burial chamber and decided to check out what I could find there. Imagine my surprise when I suddenly found myself in my beloved valley, just when I thought I'd have to spend the rest of my life running away from the militia. Alright guys, that's the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching once again, and uh, subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I hope to see you guys in part 2 of the Jagandar episode. Where we're gonna go to uh, the mansions, and then the bandits get the claw. And then, you know, the dragon hunt basically begins. So anyways guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.